Hi, this is Miss Morgan. We're looking at the weak acid practice problems that you should have been working on. And today we're going to go through numbers one through five. So number one asked us to find the pH of a 0 0.35 molar solution of HCN. They told us that Ka was equal to 6.5 times 10 to the negative 10. The first thing to do is to write the equation. So the HCN, AQO, plus water, which is liquid, is in equilibrium with H3O plus AQ and CN minus AQ. The initial concentration of the acid was given as 0.35. Water is a liquid, a pure liquid, so it doesn't have a place in the equilibrium expression. H3O plus and CN minus, both aqueous, had zero concentration at the start. If the HCN dissociates by minus X, then that will give you a concentration of X for H3O plus and X for CN minus. The equilibrium concentration of the HCN, therefore, is 0 0.35 minus X. And for the other two, X and X. OK. We are going to use the approximation that x is very small, so the equilibrium concentration of the HCN will be 0.35. The equilibrium expression, Ka, is equal to the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of Cn minus divided by the concentration of the HCN. That gives us 6.5 times 10 to the minus 10 is equal to x times x divided by 0 0.35. If you rearrange that, you get x squared equals 6.5 times 10 to the minus 10 times 0 0.35 which is equal to 2.28 times 10 to the minus 10. Take the square root, gives you x is 1.51 times 10 to the minus 5. At this point, we have to check the 5% rule. So we do that over on the side over here. 0 0.35 was our original concentration. So times 5 over 10 for the 5% gives us 1.75 times 10 to the negative 2. That is much smaller. The x is much smaller than the 5% value. So that means our 5% rule is okay and we can make the approximation. So therefore we can let x be the concentration of the hydronium ion. And that therefore means that the con that concentration is 1.51 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. The pH is minus the log of the H3O plus concentration. So that's minus log of 1.5 times 10 to the minus 5, which is equal to 4.82. So our final pH answer is that the pH is equal to 4.82. Question number two tells us that Ka for acetic acid is 1.75 times 10 to the negative 5. And they want to know the hydrogen 
iron concentration and the pH of 0 0.10 molar acetic acid. So, again, start with the equation. Acetic acid, CH3, COOH, plus water, gives us H3O plus and CH3COO minus. The ions are AQ. The water is liquid and the acid is AQ. Our initial concentration for the acid, 0 0.10. For water, again, we don't worry about it. And the concentration of the ions at the start would both be zero. The change, the, ac the acetic acid will change by minus x, which will mean the ions increase by plus x. The equilibrium concentration for acetic acid, therefore, is 0 0.10 minus x. For the ions are both x. Again, we're going to use the, uh, prop the approximation that x is negligible, so that will give us a 0 0.10 concentration for the acid. Ka, equilibrium expression, is going to be H3O plus times concentration of CH3COO minus divided by the concentration of the CH3COOH. And putting in the numbers, 1.75 times 10 to the negative 5 is going to be equal to x times x divided by 0 0.10. x squared then is 1.75 times 10 to the negative 6, which gives us a value of x of 1.32 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay. Again, we have to check the 5% rule. So the original concentration was 0 0.10, and that gives us a value of a 5% of that of 5 times 10 to the negative 3. Again, x is smaller than the 5%, so our rule is OK. So if we let x be equal to the concentration of the hydronium ion, then the, which that means that it must be at 1.32 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. pH minus the log of, sorry, let's get rid of that, minus log of 1.32 times 10 to the minus 3, which is equal to 2.30. So, to make sure that you state the answers, what we were asked for. So, we were asked for the hydrogen ion concentration, which was 1.32 times 10 to the negative 3 molar, which gave us a pH of 2.30. Question number three asks for the pH of a 0.5 molar formic acid, which is HCOOH, and tells us that the Ka value is 1.772 times 10 to the negative 4. So, setting up the ice box again, 
HCOOH AQ plus H2O liquid will be give us H3O plus AQ plus HCOO minus AQ. The original concentration of the formic acid is 0.5. Again, don't worry about the water, and zero, and zero for the ions. The change in the acid will be minus x, which will give us plus x, and plus x for the product ions. So, equilibrium concentrations, 0 0.5 minus x, x, and x. Again, Let's try go with the approximation and say that the original concentration of the formic acid is going to be 0.5. The equilibrium expression, H3O plus concentration uh, times the HCOO minus concentration divided by HCOOH concentration. Whoops. Sorry about that. Let's get try and get rid of that line. Okay, back to what we were doing. So, putting in the numbers, this is x, this is x, this is 0.5, and the Ka is 1.772 times 10 to the negative 4. That gives us x squared equals 8.86 times 10 to the negative 5. And x is equal to 9.41 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay, again, we have to do the 5% rule. I'll change color so that it doesn't get too confusing because I've written over the box a little bit. So this will be 0.5 times 5%, which gives us 2.5 times 10 to the negative 2. And again, you can see that x is smaller than 2.5 times 10 to the negative 2, so our 5% rule is OK. All right, on we go. x is equal to the hydrogen hydronium ion concentration, which is 9.41 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. Minus pH is minus the log of... 9.41 times 10 to the negative 3, which is equal to 2.026. So the pH of the formic acid, our final answer is going to be pH is equal to 2.026. 4. asks us for the pH of 0 0.25 molar HOCl and tells us that Ka is equal to 3.5 times 10 to the negative 8. So, HOCl, AQ, plus H2O liquid, makes H3O plus AQ, plus OCl minus AQ. Initial concentrations, 0 0.25 for the acid, water, don't worry about it, 0 
and zero for the ions. The change in the acid will be minus x. The increase in the ions will both be plus x. So the equilibrium concentrations will be 0 0.25 minus x, x and x. Again, let's approximate it to 0.25. Ka is equal to the H3O plus concentration times OCl minus divided by HOCl. And that gives us 3.5 times 10 to the negative 8 is equal to x times x divided by 0 0.25, giving us x squared equals 8.75 times 10 to the negative 9. And take the square root x is equal to 9.35 times 10 to the negative 5. 5% 5 rule, 0 0.25 times 5% is 1.25 times 10 to the negative 2. x is much smaller, so that's OK. Again, let x then be the concentration which, are, which will be 9.35 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. pH minus the log of 9.35 times 10 to the negative 5, which equals 4.029. So the final answer is going to be the pH is equal to 4.029. Question 5. asks for the pH of a 0 0.1 molar solution of H2S and Ka is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7. Okay, so H2S, AQ, reacting with water, this is a liquid, is going to give you the hydronium ion again and the negative ion will be HS minus and that will also be AQ. The initial concentrations 0.1, no, not worry about water, 0 and 0. Again, the change will be minus X for the acid plus X and plus x for the ions. And the equilibrium concentration, 0 0.1 minus x, x and x. Let's hope that the thing works again. So let's make the approximation. So Ka. H3O plus concentration times the HS minus concentration divided by H2S. That gives us 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7 equals X times X divided by 0 0.1 which gives us x squared equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 8, which means that x is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 4. 5% rule, 0 0.1 times 5% is 
5 times 10 to the negative 3. So again, the 5% rule works. Okay, x is equal to the concentration, so that means the concentration is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. And the pH minus log of the H3O plus concentration minus the log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 4, which is equal to 2.301. So the final pH will be pH is 2.30. And there we go. Uh, sorry that some of my writing is a little bit squished in, but hopefully this all makes sense to you. Contact me or Mr. Morgan if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye. We'll do 6 and 10 tomorrow.